Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do a favorite of mine. I was, I was always fascinated by the Loch Ness Monster when I was a kid. And I want to show you how to do that from start to finish. And because uh, they, the Loch Ness Monster, I always thought that it was uh, one of uh, the dinosaurs which is called a plesiosaurus. And it has flippers and the long neck and the tail. And I'll show you how to make that. The types of clay that you can use are this oil-based clay, which never hardens. And you can use it again and again. That's the one I used to use all the time as a kid. And uh, I really enjoyed using it. Uh, the other type of clay that you can use, an air-hardening clay that hardens within a, like two hours or overnight, it hardens. And then you can paint it and, you know, you have a nice little permanent little sculpture. My preference for the clay is Super Sculpey, which can be fired in the oven at 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it, you can make a tremendous amount of detail with this clay. It's great. I'll show you the size balls of clay that we'll be using tonight. I want to make sure that we, we want to have tin foil tonight. I have some rolled up balls of tin foil and I'll show you how we're going to make the water with that. And I also want to show you that we'll be using something armature wire, which looks like this when you buy it in the art store. And this is the piece, the length of the piece that I want to use for the neck tonight. Part of this is going to go into the body and part of it's going to hold up the neck. But I want you to see how flexible this is. Very, very flexible. It's awesome to use. Very, it's aluminum wire, and uh, you can basically make it into whatever shape you want. So, and I'll put that, we'll put these aside, but I'll show you the size balls of clay that we use. We want to use this for the base or the water, and then for the actual body, we want to use this size ball of clay, and then for the head and neck, we'll use this size ball of clay here. I'll proceed to show you how to, we're going to do the ocean or the ocean water or the water. Put this aside. These here. We're going to take this ball of clay here and just going to squeeze it just like that. And, and then what I'm going to do is now that I've made the shape that I want, this is the shape that you want right here. It almost looks like a rock. And that's what it looked like from the top, the side, and on the bottom we want to flatten it out. So we're going to tap this on the table. So I'm going to take this and tap it in the table. See, it gives you a nice flat edge. The next thing that we want to do is we want to take our tin foil and we want to just kind of run this across the clay like this. See that? I'll do it from the side so you get a better view. Just kind of, you know, kind of make it swirly. See how I'm kind of zigzagging back and forth? Because you want it to look like water. It's going to go back and forth. I'm going to do this all around the... So I'm just going to go back and forth. Just like that. Go all the way around. I'll show you. I'll rough it a little up a little bit here too, because that's where I'm gonna actually attach the body. But see that? See that nice texture that we have? That's gonna be the water. And I did it on this side. You can see it, it really looks nice the way we, it came out. So we're going to put this on the table and we're going to proceed to make the body of the Loch Ness Monster. What we're going to do, we're just going to work on the tail up through this area, the, the, this body right here. This is the shape that we're going to make. That's what it will look like from the top and that's what it will look like from the other side. And I'll proceed to show you how to make that shape. We'll take this ball of clay here. 
I'm just gonna, we're gonna almost make it into like a potato-like shape, like this. And then what I'm gonna do is see on the end here, I'm starting to pinch this a little more. We're gonna make the tail. So you just kind of pull it and pinch it. And we wanna almost make it, think of almost like making an ice cream cone in a sense. And see how we're making that nice little tail? Just like that. And we're gonna, just like that, just see how that's starting to form? That's the bottom, that'll be the side. So what we wanna do is just keep working the body like this. Just like this. Lengthen it out. And what I want to also do, uh, the Loch Ness Monster, is make, kind of make like a spine. See, I'm kind of pinching the clay together. See, I'm doing that. You want to kind of pinch that. We're going to do the all the way down the length of the tail. Just like that. And we'll just go all along here. And I'll show you. See I'm, how I'm pinching that together? Just, just like that. So see how we, we made that? See how that? It's almost like, I think of almost like uh, a V, a V shape. So now we'll proceed to put the body on the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the body. You see this? We're going to combine these like this. And we're just going to work it a little bit like this, push it together. But another thing that I want to do is I want to get a toothpick, which I'm going to have over here. And we're going to proceed to just go like this. You see, I'm just going to go in like that, in between, like that. That'll help to seal it onto the, the water base. And I'm going to turn around. I'm going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to run it right along the edge like that. Just like that. And then I'm just going to take and just push it a little bit. And another thing I want to do is kind of smooth out the body a little bit. So what you do is you can take your fingers or your thumb. See, I'm just kind of running my fingers along the clay so you can make the body smooth. Just like that. And you just keep working it. And then we're going to switch over to the other side and do the same thing. So I'm just taking my thumb and I'm smoothing it. You can smooth out the body. Just like that. And that's what it looks like so far. The next thing that we want to do is make the, the flippers that the Loch Ness Monster will swim with. And I'll show you what they look like. See these flippers here? These right here, we want to make four flippers like this. And then we'll proceed, and then we'll make two for each side. And I'll show you how to do that. Take this ball of clay here, and what we want to do is kind of pinch it to make it flat. But then you also kind of want to make it, see I'm kind of creating a point there. You want to make that, flatten it out like that, but then also make it a little rounder. You see how I'm kind of making the shape of the flipper? I'll show you, see how, that, that, how that's forming? See how I make that nice little point there? And just want to kind of work that a little bit. Just like that. See how I did that? That's what it will look like from, from one side. That's what, see how it's nice and flat? And that's what it will look like from the, that will actually be the outside of the flipper. We're going to proceed to make four of those. And now that I've made the four flippers, we will proceed to put those onto the body. And I'll show you how we will do that. I'm going to take this one right here pick up one of the flippers, and we're going to put this right about here on the body. 
You just kind of work, and then you just kind of work the flipper in like that. Just work up and against the body. And kind of work it in. And we'll proceed to put the next flipper. And we're going to put it in this approximate location right here. And just kind of work it in. Just like that. So we put that for the spacing. Just going to work that in like that. And now I'll proceed to do that on the other side. So what I'm going to do is look, line it up with the one I have on the other side. I want to see that it's in the same location. And now, see this how I'm just kind of working that in. You take your finger, and just kind of work that. And then we'll proceed to put the last and final flipper, which is right here. And we'll, and we'll work that in, just like that. And that's what we have so far for the body. We want to do is we want to make the neck, and I'll show you how that will look. The neck on the Loch Ness Monster will make it like that. See that? And then I'll show you how to make, well, almost make the head look um, like almost of that, of that of like a snake or something. But then I added some things to the eyes to make it look interesting, and I'll show you how to do that. We'll proceed to take this ball of clay here. And what I think we will do is roll it on the table. That'll be the quickest way to going to roll it like this. See how we're rolling that out? That way we'll keep the proportions of the neck the same. And what I want to do now is I want to make the head. So what I'm going to do is almost, I'll show you, I'm flattening it out a little bit. See how I'm, the shape I'm making right now? You, you want to make that shape there. And then we'll thin out the neck. Just like that. See how that looks? And we're going to proceed to take our aluminum wire, and we're going to put this inside the neck. So what I'm going to do is just put this down like the, the center of the just kind of work it in. See, I'm trying to work that in so. And see how now his ver the clay is very flexible with this wire. So you can kind of make it whatever shape you want. So what I'm going to do is I want to have the head going this way. See how I'm doing that? And I will, I will show you. I think we'll put some eyes and things on him now because it'll make it easier. So what I'm going to do is see right about here. I'm going to take, we're going to take, just make the eye and go kind of go back and forth just like that. And then we're going to proceed to make the eye on the other side. So I'm going to line it up. See, I'm going to line it up with that one. See how that, that we see that eye? So I'm just going to go to the other side and put it in the same location on the opposite side. And then we're going to make a couple of little dots from the nostril. See this? And then we're going to do that. Almost think of like a snake head. And then we're going to proceed to make the mouth. So what I want to do is take this toothpick and go kind of go like this and pull it along. We'll kind of just go around like that. And then we're going to proceed to do it on the other side. So we're just kind of
And then another thing that I'd like to do to make it look more interesting is I want to, I have some extra clay here on the side. And we're going to take a little piece of clay like this. I'll show you the size. It's very small. I'll put them in my hand so you can see them. See that size there? And I'll show you. We're going to make like, a, a, like an eyelid or a brow. So we're going to take this, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to shape this into the shape of the, almost like an eyelid. See that there? And then we're going to proceed to put that right here on top of the eye. See that? And just kind of press down there, and then just kind of work it in a little bit, just like that. We'll have to readjust the eye because I, I noticed that uh, it kind of pushed it down a little bit. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make that eyelid again. And we're going to put that on the other side. I'll show you. See the see that shape? That's what we want. And then we'll proceed to put that over the other eye. And then you just kind of work the clay in a little bit like this. And what I want to do is, now that the eye is a little compressed, so we'll come back up here and just widen it up a little bit. See that? Taking the toothpick, and I'm making it a little bigger. And then we'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. See that? So I'm taking it and making that a little bigger. And then what we want to do is we're going to take the toothpick now. You see where we have, kind of have that little eyelid? Take and make little indentations here. And then we'll make indentations on the top also. So both sides. See that? And then we'll make indentations here. And then we, I want to make them on the other side also, right here. So you do both sides right by the eye. And I'll open that up a little bit. So see that, the interesting detail? that we have there now. And I'll open the eye up again here. Don't worry if you damage some of your previous work. You can always clay. You can always just change it and, and fix it. So the next thing that we want to do, now that we've made that, is I want to take this and push this into the body. So take this piece of wire and push it in. And then we're going to take and connect the body and the neck together, just like this. So just kind of work it like that. And what I would do is to kind of pull down the clay from here and then kind of work the clay from all sides to create that neck. And we can also take and put uh, some additional clay there if we want. So I'm going to add a little clay here around the neck area here. Just build that up a little more, just like that. And I'm going to do it from this side here. See, just add a little clay in here. This is where we had pu pushed them together. I just want to add a little more clay there. And there. So there, there you have the Loch Ness Monster. And we'll, I'll show you how to paint it now. I'm going to put this one that we made aside. And I'll show you 
the acrylic paints we'll be using. These can be bought in any art store. There's about 18 in each package. And uh, the colors we'll be using tonight are there's like a I would say like a bluish green. I like this color. You know, that's what we're going to use for the eyes one, or part of the eye. We're going to use black for the eyes. We are going to use gray for the body. And then we will use blue. In there's a light blue and white for the water. I'm going to put those all right there. I'd like to take and put these aside. We won't be using these. And I'll show you the size brushes that we'll be using. This one here is the one we use for the eyes. See how it has a very, very fine point? And that we will use for the eyes. For the water, I'll show you there's several brushes here. We'll use this brush here to start out to make the main body in the water. And then I have a couple of other brushes here they're, they're like medium-sized brushes, and this is what we use for the, the light blue and the white. And I'll proceed to show you how to do that. We'll take this brush here, and I'll dab it in there, and I'll show you how to proceed to paint the blue right here. See I'm doing that? So you want to go back and forth, back and forth. Just go like that, back and forth, back and forth. Let's just back and forth, back and forth, just like that. And then we'll see I'm getting in there. Don't worry if you get some of the flippers because you can always paint over them again. You know, and when you're working in close proximity like this, you're bound to get mix some of the colors a little bit in some areas that you want other colors. You can always touch them up. That's the great thing about paint. See, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, and proceed to go all the way around. Went back and forth, back and forth, just like that. And then we'll just this last area here. Do that. And it looks like we're all set for the blue color. Now we want to proceed to put some other colors. We'll take this light blue color here. And we will proceed to put that on there. What we're going to do is we're going to just dab the water a little bit. See? Here. Just kind of dab, dab. Just make like little dabs like that. You want some nice contrast in the color, so just just make little dabs. And we'll proceed to do little dabs around here. It gives it a more realistic effect for the water by doing this. And we'll go you want to go all the way around, did little dabs. Yeah, it looks like we've got one more area that we didn't do there. Right there. Little dabs. Now we're going to proceed to use the white. And we'll use this brush here. And what you want to do is just kind of ever so slightly touch here and there with the white. It gives it a nice effect. Makes it look like waves. Because waves, if you go to the ocean, they're, they're, they're different colors. I mean, you see blues, light blues, white. And we just go around with the white and just kind of dab here and there. Just like that. And then we're going to do with this side, just a little dab of white here. And then we'll do the very back. 
just make little dabs. It has a really nice effect. See that? Really looks good when you do it that way. The next step in the process is we want to paint the body. We'll take this gray. We'll start to paint. I, we'll start with the neck first. So just go back and forth, back and forth. Just like that. You want to go all the way around. Back and forth like that. See how I'm doing that? You can do that back and forth motion. And what we're going to do is, then you'll, you can paint the, most of the head's going to be gray. But we will be using the black. And let's say, I think you can, let me see if we can turn this um, so you can see it. See, I'm getting the, that, that area right there. Getting that. And now, well, I just want to just dab it a little bit more. And I'll show you, you want to paint the rest of the neck. And now I'm going to proceed to do the flippers. So the flippers, you just want to go up and down like this. And then when the size is kind of dab it ever so slightly, you know, try not to hit your work where you had worked on the water. And then I see I'm turning this around and I'm doing this other side. Just kind of do that. Then I'll proceed to do the other flipper. And then you want to paint both sides. And then you see I'm painting the front part of the flipper here. And you want to do all the flippers in that manner. So going back and forth. You might want to give it a couple of coats because the when it dries, sometimes you still can see some of the pink on the clay. But this, so you're just going to paint that, paint the front part, and then kind of paint behind it. And then you want to paint the tail. See the tail? Uh, it gives it a really nice uh, effect once you start to put everything together. And then we're going to proceed to paint the other part of the tail. And you're going to paint the entire body in that manner. I'm not going to do the entire body here, but I'll show you how it's done. Because I need to paint the eyes. And uh, I won't be able to hold on to them if I'm getting paint all over my hands. So I'll show you the next step. And we will use the blue-green. Just dab that. You see that? See I'm dabbing here by the eyes? We want to... Let me see. I'll flip this over so you can see a little better. See how we're doing the top of the head with the green? That was the area that we took the toothpick when we were making all those little ridges. And then, it's going to paint it that way. Let's paint over here. See that? How it looks? And then for the eyes, we will do the black. That's where we have the very small brush. And I'm going to dab that. And take this, and you push it right in here. See that? I'll dab it one more time. And then we'll proceed to do the other one. So I'll, I'll try to turn that around. Oh, I don't know if, okay, it might be a little hard for you to see me do it, but and I'll do that side. So there we have our uh, dinosaur. And I'll show you what the painted version should look like. So the legendary Loch Ness Monster, they always thought it was a plesiosaurus, which lived millions and millions of years ago. This is what the final painted version will look like. See how we put that nice green for the eyes? How that came out? 
and then we had the nice black for the eyeball, and then we painted the entire body of the Loch Ness Monster gray, including the flippers. And then see how we did the nice contrast with the colors with the blue, the light blue and the white? And that gave it a really nice effect. And I do hope that you enjoyed coming to Creations in Clay tonight and doing the Loch Ness Monster. It was, I was always fascinated with it as a kid. And, you know, it's a legend and it, nobody knows if it's real or not. But uh, it's over there in the Loch Ness Lake in Scotland. And I do f look forward to seeing you again next week. And uh, goodbye for now. <laughs>